All right, this is Jimmy Cab's Take the Broadcast 5150 interview series and Bulldozer Magazine here in San Fernando Valley. What is it Sherman Oaks? We're in Sherman Oaks. There's a mall right there. We're a long way from home here. Why are we in Sherman Oaks? Because the original Armored Saint is here. We're celebrating. What are we celebrating? First of all, good to see you. Good to see you too, as always. Thanks for having me again. We are celebrating the release of um, our first live record, actually, uh, Carpe Noctum. Carpe Noctum, which actually means, I looked that up, uh, let's see here, Seize the Night. Seize the Tennis Shoe, actually. This is a live record, correct? It is a live record, yeah. It's um, kind of our first official one, because um, in... What about Saint, the Saint Will Conquer? Well, Saints Will Conquer was kind of billed as an EP, um, and uh, wasn't really, I don't know, I don't know. This feels more like an actual record. This one, so that's what we're that's what we're calling it. We're sticking with it. Let's get into it. Armored Saint. For those of you that are very familiar, and for those of you that are not, but you've seen the band, they are an exceptional band. And I mean this because I've been a fan for over 30 years. I've been giving you my money for over 30 years. Phenomenal live band. Why do I point that out? Because in this day and age, everyone can replicate with technology that live crushing sound. But organically, when you get on stage, only the real deal can pull it off. I think the fact that you're releasing a live album is fantastic because live is where I think you reign supreme because organically, you all gel well. You've always had phenomenal shows where you've been able to maintain the, old, the older demographic, I say that with all due respect, and the younger demographic. And this is the most important thing that I want to point out. It seems to me that you still love playing live immensely amongst all of you. That's true. Uh, I mean, that's one of the things, probably one of the main things, I'd say 95% of the thing that keeps us going, actually, right. is being able to play live. Um, it's, it's been a weird thing with our band because we have been, we just thrive on being on stage and playing in front of people. I think we've always struggled with our recordings, to be honest with you, for our entire career, trying to match that same sort of intensity and um, just sound, you know. We've never quite gotten to the same place, so we've always thrived on just playing live, playing live, playing live. The recording stuff is, we love recording, we love making records. There's always been this sort of effort to try to get to that same spot, you know, where you're, that intensity that we're on stage. And it's hard thing to, re, it's a hard thing to, you know, duplicate being there. Um, I don't, I think we've gotten there a few times. I, uh, my, the things that stick in my head are our last record, Win Hands Down, and also A Symbol of Salvation. Those two records probably, and a little bit Revelation too. But some of those, those, rec, those three records are probably the closest we've come really? to, to representing what we feel like we are alive. But um, so doing this live record is like, I mean, here it is. I mean, this is a live record. Um, it's not, you know, re-recorded in a studio. It's not redone somewhere. This is actually five guys on stage, no overdubs. This is it. It's the human aspect. It's just, the, it's just us. The real deal. Let me say this with all sincerity without sounding a brown noser. I, myself, when I go see live bands that I've been experienced with and familiar with for over 30 years sometimes it's disappointing to see the musicians we all age mm -hmm. but a lot of times you can see it's a performance that is just catered more towards did the check clear you know or hey I hate all of you motherfuckers but we're getting paid mm -hmm. one of the things that I've always enjoyed and I think the reason why you have loyal legions of fans worldwide globally is the fact that when you perform on stage the energy that you give off feeds the audience to the point that it's almost euphoric because you're enjoying what you're doing and you incorporate us for over 30 years you've been doing that man and LA you're known as a live band be that as it may this is a recording from where oh this was uh, this record is recording from two shows two different shows in Germany um, oh, last summer's last summer's tour um, we've had you know we had the opportunity to record two of the shows, like full multi-track. So, and at the time, to be honest with you, it wasn't even a plan to like do a, a record, do anything with these recordings. But it was, it was like a situation where we could re use these, we can actually record these shows, and we said, sure, let's do it. We have to do it. Why not? It wasn't until much later, actually, pretty recently, that we decided we had all these tracks, and um, we said, well. We have all these, you know, these, these shows are actually really cool. We should do something with it. 
And Metal Blade came up with this idea of like, well, why don't you guys, maybe you should do a, new, a live record. And it's like, okay. <laughs> you know, most bands release live albums because they're either creatively in a, in a fix where they need to reproduce something. I think for you guys, it's exactly the opposite because this really demonstrates just as powerful and just as energetic and just as solid that you are. Back in what, 1989 when you released that EP? Uh, it was before that. It was 80, 88, actually, is when uh, Saints of Conquer came out. It was 88. And we were between records at that point, so we kind of, that was like our go between record because we had just got dropped from Chrysalis and we were looking for a new label. So uh, we had this recording from the Hell on Wheels tour in 87. We, we were out with um, Grim Reaper and Halloween. And we had this recording and it was like the perfect thing to, well, we'll put this live, e it was that time, it was, got, it was an EP at the time. We'll put this EP out and that'll be the go between between that and the next major label that'll come along wanting to sign us. And well, <laughs> that actually never happened because, well, for various reasons, but it didn't happen. So. Um, that's why that came out. But so this doesn't have anything to do with that mentality at all. It's just, it's kind of purely just for fun and for, for like, maybe like what you're suggesting, just sort of like a, a celebration of what we do best. Yeah. And I, I, I really think that sometimes I say we're a better live band than we are a recording band. But um, and, you know, it's just it's a different experience. It's a completely different vibe when we're playing live. And not only that, but really how proud you must be because when most are with most audiences they really don't like to go into the live aspect they really hate the bootleggers they really don't like the whole thing because mm. on stage you're human yeah. no matter how tight you are you're gonna make mistakes yeah. one of the things that Armored Saint has always been very very successful at is destroying the stage so what better way to demonstrate how pivotal and how instrumental and yet how powerful you are 30 something years later man Talk to us about Pledge Music. This is interesting. Mm. Yeah, something new for us. Um, something new for me, too. It's something new for a lot of people. Um, you know, uh, we have the opportunity to get involved with Pledge Music, and it, it's kind of a, it's a situation where you can, it gives fans an opportunity to pre-order the record so they would get it earlier. And uh, it's, it, for lack of a better explanation, it's kind of a, it's like a totally glorified fan club. Really? So it's only for people who uh, just really support bands and and want to get involved in a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. Um, and that's a lot. It's really interesting to a lot of people. They don't they don't know how a band functions and what goes on behind the scenes or what other things bands are attached to or what they're like. So it gets it gives people a chance to come in and get closer to the band. And at the same time, what they're doing is helping, helping us um, and helping themselves get involved together. We're all doing this together, uh, get involved in the pre-order for this record. So they get early access to all kinds of stuff, the record for one thing, and all kinds of um, items that they would like to get, t-shirts or nice. whatever, stuff that's uh, specific to the band, like whatever, um, drum heads or sticks or whatever, stuff like that. Um, and they get closer to the band. They get to know the, the, us They're as involved. people. They're way more involved. And um, me, please don't tell me you're giving them your fucking cell phone number. Cell phones where we draw the line. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good. But uh, you know, it's been really successful, and it's been an eye opener for us as to the depth and the the like the the like how deep fans are connected to us. We really had no idea how really crazy fans are I've about stuck in you for 30 years you're shocked no but it i mean it, you you know it in, in certain cities you play you know and you'd see it and you make meet people and stuff but this this is a way to connect with people globally and people are from all over the place like the the show of support is so insane so it's 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 really humbling to us actually like it's completely humbling to us to at this point even to, to see that so we're just super grateful that it's been it's been a complete success and everyone thank you to everyone who's been involved it's been awesome